What up, my little tubers? We're back for some more drafting here on Arena. You know what it is. More mom draft. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out cardkingdom.com slash newmont for all of your magic card needs. Uh, well... We opened a pretty good one. One of the best cards in the format. All right, well, not much to say here. You open Sunfall, you take Sunfall. Card is just stupid good. A lot of Wraths these days feel like they are just stupid good. Back in the day of like, uh, what is it? Phyrexian Rebirth or something in like Scars block. We had a comparable type of Wrath where it killed all creatures and made an XX where the number of creatures killed was. This one's basically the same. Um, exile all creatures and then you get to incubate X, so... Sunfall, stupid good, not much to say, we're passing a Surveyor, or whatever, <laughs> you just take the Sunfall, and you're happy with it. And wow, we are happy with this second pack as well, as there are a ton of good follow-ups. Top amongst them are going to be, what, Marshal of Zalfir, Ephra's, uh, Ephra's Dispersal, and then to a lesser extent, you've got Portent Tracker, Volcanic Spite, Phyrexian Awakening, even the Emoti looks pretty good. I could just take the Marshall second pick and just say, you know what? All in, we're going to play Knights. Why don't we just do that? It's been a while since uh, we've done an aggro deck of sorts. I mean, I've done some blue-red decks lately, but those have kind of fallen on their face, I feel like. It's been a lot of Sultai slower decks. Let's take the Marshall of Zalfir. Let's just say, I'm Knights. I'm Knights. I'm Knights. I'm Knights. Knights, I am. I'm knights. By the way, I'm I'm knights. <clears throat> well, getting a lot of reward there by second picking Marshall of uh, Zalfir as we get a third pick Marshall of Zalfir. So, where does that leave us? We're just going to take the Realm Breaker's Grasp here now. I would love to get some Angelic Interventions later. We will keep notes of good cards we're passing. Vat Keepers are great. Another Portent Tracker, Informant. But given our start, it's going to be very, very, very hard to pull me away from what we have already. Um, the question is, what type of cards do we want to take at this point in time? Like, I think Meeting of Minds is probably slightly better than Order of the Mirror. But why would I not just take, like, every single knight card I see at this point as well? Right, and especially a two-mana knight? I guess Order of the Mirror is less likely to wield than Meeting of the Minds, or even Negate, which I wouldn't mind running in this deck. Okay. I'm Knights. We'll take the Order of the Mirror. Another pretty solid follow-up pack, though. Nothing for us, necessarily. I could take the Negate right now if I wanted to. Sunder the Gateway is not bad. I don't care for Bola Slinger in the Knight deck. Surveyor to keep us open, perhaps? But what am I trying to be open towards? Like... This start is already freaking amazing, and I should lean into blue-white. As much as this format is about crazy bombs and being able to buy your time towards them, there is something to be said about just going, like, two-color aggressive, and this is, again, such a good start that maybe Surveyor is just straight-up worse than a card like Sunder or whatever. But these are all replaceable, and Skittering's not, so this has higher upside, plus... We're always going to want to get to five mana if possible, probably more. Like, we have two marshals, so that's a reason to utilize more lands, right? And Sunfall wants five. Skyline, best card here, but Invasion of Kamigawa is not terrible. Boost is okay. Moment of Truth is fine. I do like Invasion of Kamigawa at its most in this style of deck, where... Ideally, you're going to have some amount of pressure on turns 2 and 3, and so if you curve into Invasion on turn 4 with a curve like that, it's really hard to come back from. Uh, Protocol Knight here is really good. I've not been in s extremely impressed by Invasion of Belanon, but I guess this is probably the deck that wants it. Is it better than taking Protocol Knight or Temporal Cleansing, though? That's kind of hard to say. I would guess the Protocol Knight's better than the inv Invasion. But with double marshal, it's actually not too bad. Because So 5 defense is a really awkward number, 
right? If you've got two twos, that's three attacks. It's just not very efficient. But because we have double marshal, that kind of reduces the clock a little bit. I'm going to take the invasion of Belanon here and try it out. It also makes a knight itself, so... Like, turn two marshal, turn three invasion of Belanon is pretty good. Okay, nothing here for us in this particular pack. Is there any reason, again, I would want to consider, like, splashing? Probably not for these cards. Okay, Phyrexian Awakening on the wheel is not bad. I would guess I probably don't end up running it. I have no Phyrexians right now. Very late Portent Tracker, that's probably a sign for some green. But yeah, is Awakening good enough in a deck that's not going to have any synergy with it? Probably not. Okay, Order of the Mirror on the wheel, that's another knight. We're up to five knights already. I guess I'll just cut off the blue signal. Infected Defector is a knight. It's just probably the worst knight in the format would be my guess. Negate's also fine here. In this style of deck, I really enjoy a negate. Because sure, Sunfall's a bomb. But a lot of times, if you're just trying to curve out with good, efficient creatures, um, you want to be able to counter like that one important battle or a, you know removal spell as we open our pack two and get a nice looking preening champion. I would guess that Invasion of Belanon and Awakening Wheel, just like they came super late in the previous pack. Realmbreaker's Grasp, also solid enough, but yeah, there's no way we're passing a preening champ. This is looking to be one of the more disgusting Knights decks I've ever seen in this format. And another preening champ. A lot of Invasion of Belanons. I think we saw three now total. Tetsuko's not garbage. Um, again, Sunder the Gateway is fine. I bet you we could not take any more non-land cards and still get quite a few wins with what we have here. <laughs> two Marshals, two preening champs, a Sunfall. Like... You go some drafts without getting a single preening champion when you're blue. And this is the beginning of pack two, and we have two of them already. Borborygmos is super, super cool, but well, there's another invasion of Belanon. Like, again, I am not a big fan of this card, but with two Marshal of Zalfir and now a couple of preening champions, I think it does become a lot more playable. Kind of a crazy start. Uh, so what are we looking for here? Some Convoke cards would be good, like Meeting of Minds, Artistic Refusal, Temporal Cleansing. I know I passed both a Meeting and a Cleansing already. Another Phyrexian Awakening, but this is just an easy Zalfir and Lancer here for us. In the Night deck for sure, over Alabaster, absolutely. Shapecraft is also okay, although I think I like taking boost number one over Shapecraft number one. This is just another really solid trick, especially via the Convoke. Another Zalfir and Lancer. I mean, I guess I'm going to be cutting this Skittering Surveyor. We're just going to have way too many other better three drops. This deck is absurd. What is going on? I have six. No, I have eight knights already. Uh, yeah, this is this is one of those drafts where it was it just lined up perfectly, right? We opened Sunfall. I took Marshal of Zalfir and said, "All right, let's try Knights." Bam, and then it just all there. Sigiled Sentinel also pretty solid. That's a three drop. Although we're we don't really want it any more three drops. We have seven already. All of them are Knights. Um. And five of them get extra value by themselves, right? The two preening champs make tokens. The sigil sentinel has backup. The two invasions can flip into an anthem. Would love to get a cryptomancer or two. Another grasp or dispersal would be good. Astral wingspan over thunderhead squadron, I think, is right for sure. Yeah, 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 this is really good. With the double invasion of Belanon, 
the astral wingspan on any number of our knights will like insta flip the anthem. Still wheeling all these Phyrexian Awakenings too, but again, we d we're not even going to be playing them here. I guess I need card draw. That's what we're lacking currently. The wingspan was okay. Because it does kind of fill a little bit of that role. Wow, even Tetsuko is coming back around. Which it might not look it, but Tetsuko's okay here. So it makes the Order of the Mirror unblockable. Um, as long as there's still two and ones, which is nice. And the Preening Champions, right, make a couple of tokens. It's also just a... A 1-3 unblockable by itself. Probably not going to be running the Aeronaut. I mean... What are we looking for? Besides card draw and that those other stuff I was looking for. I don't even know if Raph would want to make it... Or, like, we would play the Raph, but it would be for the Anthem effect. It wouldn't be for card draw, because we have hardly any instants or sorceries. Dusk Legion Duelist. I don't think that makes the deck. We have one way to add a 1-1 counter to it, and that's just the Sigiled Sentinel. We have an Invasion of Vryn here, and that's the kind of card I was actually looking for, right? Just a card draw effect. Pretty good one at that. We're losing out on a third order of the Mirror, but given how I think open it's been, we should be able to wheel that. So let's take the card draw here. I don't know how many Phyrexian Awakenings are going to be in this draft, but I don't want to play any of them. We're probably going to wheel it again. This is Halberd versus Squadron versus Boost. Creature count right now is 10, and then we have the two invasions that make creatures. So could use a few more creatures. I guess we'll take the Squadron. It's a Knight. I have two Preening Champs. Good enough for me. This pack is just medium. Scroll shift looks okay for us. Flickering wingspan is not bad. Flickering preening champs is not bad. Although maybe I should just take the Bola Slinger at this point over Tidal Terror. Do we want Tidal Terror? Tidal Terror is the safe pick, I suppose. Yeah, nothing wrong with the safe land cycler. Another Grasp. Stasis Field. Another Squadron, another Surveyor. Let's go with more removal. Hmm. Another Preening Champ, fifth pick. Three Preening Champions. Uh, I mean... Yeah, that's a thing. That right there is a thing. I guess if I had to make any cut out of this deck, it would probably be the Invasion of Kamigawa. Assuming we can get a couple more spells. Uh, the last few picks we haven't seen here of pack 3. We saw another Marshal of Zelfir that would not be surprising. Right, well, like I said, if we saw another Marshal of Zelfir, that would not be surprising. And the reason I said that, as we indeed did get it, is because it didn't feel like white or blue was very contested, nor especially uh, the white blue Knights deck. So, I mean, <laughs> this is like a block constructed deck. I say block, but this is like a. March of Machines Constructed deck. Temporal Cleansing as well. Yeah, that's playable. This is absolutely absurd, is what it is. Is that the deck right there? Just add 16 lands. What the, Maybe the best pickup I could get here is like a Tranquil go, uh, Cove. Uh, we're not playing either of those, so let's just take some 20 gems. Oh. 
Crazy, crazy, crazy. I think 16 lands should be reasonable. Let's see, because three of our spells that cost four or more are Convoke. One of them is a Land Cycler. So realistically, our curve is pretty low. Scroll shift with three preening champs, a wingspan. Eh, it's probably not good enough. I don't think I need a second squadron. Sunder's not bad, but I, again, I don't think we have room for it. Am I supposed to be playing Daxos? I don't think so. Maybe I just cut the title tear and run 17 lands instead. That actually seems fine. Just cut the tear and run 17. What a sick deck. I mean, on average, I would expect easily to get four or five wins, no problem. Um, and, you know, we don't have to run very well to get seven wins with this. In fact, I would be... Anything fewer, anything less than four wins would be surprising, but knock on wood, I don't want to jinx it. This deck's very good. Let's hope it draws well and plays well. Blue-white Insano Knights. We're on the play here. This is probably one of the weaker hands we can have. I don't have one of my three preening champions. We do have a turn two Marshal of Zelfir, but... Like, Grass Boost and Cleansing aren't great in opening hand like this right now. The perfects would be to draw a land and a preening champ, right? Within the first couple of draw steps. Mm, that's not it. Like, if I just don't draw a land next turn... Right? Actually look kind of bad. The dregs. All right. I do. I want to do this aggressively. Like I said, I added seventeen lands because we want to make our land drops. All right, there we go. And I think, again, I'm just going to play it really, really conservatively here. I'm just going to go ahead and cleanse to get rid of their 3-3. It's fine. Nice. Alright, great. Now we can go Invasion of Rin. Okay, and just like that, we are doing okay again. Even going to discard a land after all that. What we want them to do is dump out more creatures. We don't want them to level up their Thalids. Yep, no problem. I'll pick five. Oh, yeah. Wow. So, we're going to do a little bit of bait action here. I am going to go ahead and run out the squadron. And either if they use a removal spell or if they use or just run out some more creatures. That's really good for us. Okay. Sure. Maybe they have like a mirrored in the uh, kill a damaged creature card. Avenge, that's what it's called. Yeah, it's a little bit annoying. But now we're just gonna. Actually, I'm gonna hold the land in my hand. We're just gonna sunfall here. They go. Plan to grasp any creature they play and try to flip the invasion of Rin.
Atreus. Ooh. Okay. You can have Halo Hopper land or the invasion of Ulgrotha. All right, let's go for it. They have the Afar's Dispersal, you got me. I think just copying Preening Champ is probably pretty good here. Like, we have two more Marshals of Zalfir in our deck, right? And this is two Flyers and two Ground Creatures. So even though we know they have the Invasion of Ulgrotha, if they just kill one of my two, two Flyers, that's like nothing. You got seven mana, do you got the breach? Let's see it. Render inert to shrink my six six to a one one fair. That's pretty good. I'm gonna go land first so they can't counter it if they have an assimilate. Grasp. Flipping the anthem here is really nice when we have this many creatures. Okay, I mean. Oh, Halo Forger Sunfall! That's what they were waiting on. Yeah, that is one way to lose when you cast a Sunfall, when your opponent casts one back. Good thing you can enchant artifacts here, otherwise I would be pretty darn dead. Um, yeah, now they're definitely winning. It's nice that I still have the Anthem flipped for if I ever draw some creatures, but... Yikes. I wonder if they have refusal in hand. Oh, maybe not. Okay. That's a 4 4, so they can't invasion it off the bat. That's nice. I can't just afford to take the hit. Obviously, they can invasion it now, but so be it. It's fine. Alright, that's a 3-3. Three, three. Ooh, no! Alright, that's a clock! That is a flying clock. Let's see if they want to activate and give both players a card. I don't know if it's right for them to attack the invasion. That doesn't seem right. They need to invest six damage into it. Or, well, yeah, technically six damage into it. I think with now with the preening champ, we do attack the invasion of Belanon. Three three flyer plus two two, pretty good draw. So, simulate essence then, perhaps. Oh no, it was refusal. Yeah, I thought they had that that whole time. Hm. They were just waiting for a better spell to counter, I suppose.
Okay, well, that's bad. We've drawn the same number of land, but they're a little bit deeper in their deck. Okay. Ah, uh, the old Halo Forager farewell to get me. Mm. Alright, so they flip. They get Grandmother Sengir or whatever it's called. Ravi Sengir, not Grandmother. Is that their third Thalid? Jeez. Yeah, they've got a good deck as well. Blue-black doing blue-black things. Okay, I mean... <laughs> Just like they have a... Well, they have three of the uncommon, though. I have three commons. Although I guess Preening Champion is a mythic common. Do they have another refusal here? Holy smokes. They did. I don't want to pay life to flip the order. I mean, if they kill my printing champion, I can't win. Oh god, don't look at your graveyard. Please, no. Unseal the necropolis or whatever? So, if I block that, Grandmother Ravi becomes a 4-4. I think I just take this hit for the turn and then flip my order, which can block it next turn. They didn't have the 2-2 uh, two, two Incubate. I think I would attack my Vigilant Knight into them. They're going to keep drawing. Yikes. That's very brutal. Yeah, I have to imagine they have us now. I think our only way of winning this game at this point is through decking. And I would guess that decking is going to be pretty hard to do. 12, 13, 14. So they probably have like three more lands. Okay, two more lands and there's six cards. If they never drew another removal spell, maybe? I have to trade with the Grandmother if it attacks. And I think they probably should attack at this point, because that would unlock their other attackers. I mean... Yeah. It's looking kind of bleak. What's my best draw? I have two more uh, Marshals of Zalfir. I have an Astral Wingspan. Those will both be solid. Okay. They have a third refusal. My god. Do 
Dude, what's that Realm Seeker I passed in the draft now? They do? They're playing three refusals, which is insane. Okay. I don't actually know if three refusals is good. It was good right here. Don't get me wrong. It was good here, but that's super risky. Wow, they are going for it. So they must know that they have like one more removal spell left in their deck for the preening champ. It's the only reason they would do that, right? Yeah, for sure. Good beats. Ugh. Well, maybe I did in fact jinx it. Again, our deck is nuts, but uh, Halo Forager on my Sunfall absolutely obliterated us. And then they had three artistic refusals. <laughs> GG's. Go to the next. 0 1 start. On our way to a nice 7 and 1. That's a good curve again. So, no preening champion, but we do have the turn 2 marshal once more into turn 3 invasion with a temporal cleansing. So. I like the rate of which we have turn 2 Marshall. I do not like the rate of which we have a turn 3 Preening Champion, which is to say we haven't at all yet. And offense is extremely scary. In fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and offer the trade here. I think Anna offense is way too much of an issue. Yeah, see, they don't even want to do that. So if you don't remember old Anafenza, 2-2 two, two for 2. Whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, you bolster 1. And when you bolster, you put a counter equal to the bolster number, so 1. 1-1 one, one, one counter on the creature or... Yeah, on the creature with the lowest toughness. Or tied with the lowest toughness. Choose the creature with the least toughness among creatures you control, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Yeah, there you go. Should have just read the flavor or the reminder text. Okay. We have a good turn here, though. We go order. Tuck. They chump or they give me an anthem. Okay, I just need to draw a little bit more oomph this game. Because this is a very strong start for us here. Come on, deck. Where are those preening champs and stuff? Squadron's great. Hmm. I guess I'm just going to attack with the Vigilant Creature. I can't play Squadron and hold up Tap Down of Marshall, otherwise I would do that. It just feels too much like they have a combat trick here. No, I'm going to wait. I mean, if they have a cut short, I'd rather them cut short my 4-4 than my Marshal or my Order of the Mirror. Just Kenra pass again, yep. 
Right, so I will level up our order. And we're just going to attack with the Order of the Alabaster and the Squadron. Play around plus two, plus two. Okay. We're just hoping they take 10. Damage? Hey, that's great. All right, now I am a lot more confident in our position. I'm pretty sure they have like an aerial boost type card in their hand, so trying to play around that. We'll get to Marshall, tap something down this turn, and then if we want to, we can tap something else again on our turn. Sure. Oh, you know what I don't have? I don't have an Angelic Intervention in our deck. Probably like the one good card that we're missing. Boof! Alright. I'm gonna aggro tap the Guardian now. Okay, so maybe that was the trick that they had that whole time. Um, can I still attack with both? I think this is okay, because if they double block to kill one, I get to kill the Anafenza. And if they just single block, then they're still taking a lot of damage here. Yeah, this is fine. So kill Anafenza, they take six. Two cards left in their hands. Okay, one card left. Tap, tap, make them chump. I think I just attack with the order, because if they double block it, they lose both their creatures still. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. I'll take that trade. Say go. You know what maybe I should have done? Maybe I should have tapped one of their three threes and then attacked, so they wouldn't have been able to kill it. They would still have to chump it. No, that was the... I, I did make the wrong play there. Trading the two for one, while good, wasn't the best. I should have tapped the Kenra, attacked. They have to chump with either the Bola Slinger or, or the 2-2 two -two Blessed Dude. And then I still have a tap on their turn. That would have been safer. All right. Want to know. Where is our turn 2 Marshall into turn 3 Preen, though? We've had turn 2 Marshall both games. But we cannot get the Preening champion in our opening hand, even with three of them. Obviously, this is just a nice creature curve out. Okay, there's the Preen. So, yeah. Since I drew the Preening champ, I'm going to lead with Marshall. Oh, here we go. Will being on the draw be my end? We'll find out.
that's not that bad. At all, actually. Because no matter what they hit, I can still make good blocks this turn. So, yeah. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Double spell. Leave back the 1-1 one, one, even though it's unblockable and they wouldn't trade anyways because I don't want to let them flip their invasion. Alright, and now we can start turning the corner. As they say... Bad luck for the opponent there missing lands, but we'll take it. I'm actually going to make Tetsuko a 2-4. Even though that means it's no longer unblockable, because now I just have a really good blocker versus Cavalier. Alright, well, if they don't hit a land here, yeah, kind of a non-game. Good beats. Can I kill him here? Not quite, right? Let's put it on the Vigilant creature. Eh, sad game for the opponent. But that's magic, baby. Sometimes you don't get there. We've all been. We've all been there when you don't get there. We did it. We had turn two Marshall, turn three preening champion. It just happened to be versus a very mana screwed opponent, but... At least we can feel good about that. Okay, game three. Two preening champions, but no two drops this time. Shame. Yeah, preening. <laughs> I bet you preening champion into preening champion in this format is going to win a lot of games without having to do too much else. Uh, and why not draw two drop off the top, even if it's not the Lord? We are going to be in play a creature attack mode for a while. See, if I draw a land, I can go preening champion into squadron. Axos is okay. I think we want to just do that. Now I start attacking next turn seems good. Pretty sure we're going to be saving this... Um, Realm Breaker's Grasp for later. Oh, they're going to attack. Wow. So they're going to get aggro as well here. Huh. I, again, am not going to grasp any of those cards.
They have an Anafenza too. Wow. Okay, but they only have one card left in their hand. Um, I'm pretty sure they have an aerial boost in their hand as well. Although not much can be done about that. I guess at this point... Level up. Grasp the Daxos. Oh, Surge of Salvation is what they had. Uh oh. Well, that's fine. Sure, so now we're just going to win in the air. Hopefully. Hopefully. They have to put a 1-1 counter from the thing on there, Wary Thespian, which is great for us. Oh, that's funny. They put the Negotiator, so it only attacks as a 3-3 right now. I guess I trade since Anna Fenza's ruining that. So they're going to go up to 14. That's fine. I don't want to give them surveil. That's good. Turn off the 5 3 now. All right, two turn clock in the air. Both players living off the top. Mm, looks like they might have drawn some kind of spell. Oh my god. So we just take the full hit because it's all trample right now. That's good. Um, I have to go for the win. I need them to just brick next turn. If they draw removal, I die. If they don't draw removal or a reach flyer, I win. I almost had lethal by tucking their Realm Breaker, but this is the way to do it. All right, that'll do. Woo! Jeez, that was close. Both players living off the top, pretty even board. Hey, <laughs> nice again. Um, we drew a good one, then they drew a good one. But the Flyers in the end were still able to pull that out, so. Okay, well, with one of my best decks of the format, we are just barely scraping by in some of these games. I, I guess one of my best Knight or Aggro decks in the format, because I think generally the slower decks are going to be extremely nuts, but... This is, yeah. Three and one. Let's get one more win minimum. I don't think our deck keeps a hand like this. I think our deck can do better. I don't think this is a better hand, but I think it was a correct mulligan. Um... Yeah, I guess we're going to keep this, and I'm going to pitch the cleansing here. My game plan is going to be to make a fat flyer and protect it with negate. So if we can find a two drop into like preening champion or something. Well, that's a good three at least. Oh, and they just bricked. All right, well, I mean, this might not even be a game then. I'm just going to go Lancer, Lancer, Knight, GG. Ah. Dang it! Well, I guess that just shows taking mulligans is fine. <laughs> oh! 
mean, it's another forest, though. Can I do anything to any of my creatures with that mana? No. Oh, is this a Moloch? They have a Moloch. Alright, that's good. Moloch trades with my 4-4 four -four here. Yep. Okay, Death Toucher. Um, let's go like this and hold up the gate. That way we don't lose our creature to a cosmic hunger or a uh, tandem takedown or whatever. Like I need it. Okay. Uh, non-games. No, that wasn't fun. But there we go. Four wins. That's what I said. You should average four wins with this deck every time. Now let's just get some extra gravy. Game number six. Okay, that hand's decent. It's got a two drop knight, a three drop knight, and a four drop knight. Now it's got two, 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 two drops, three, three drops. I don't know. I was trying to say something clever there, but I didn't go for it. Don't have a Ral's reinforcements. Tetsuko! Alright. Not gonna level up our order there. Just play out the Lancer and start Lancing. Lancer next turn, smack for four. No Lancer next turn, no smack for four. Ooh, okay, that is a good draw. This is what I was saying, Tetsuko with the orders, as long as I don't have uh, one of my marshals on the battlefield. Main phase fairy mastermind for haste? Gonna, I guess they're just going to try racing, yeah. Two ships sailing and all that in the night. Passing in the night, whatever. I always say that wrong. Are they going to kill my Tetsuko, maybe? Sure. Cannot block that. It would be a mistake to give flying there, because Mastermind is one toughness. Okay. Pressure's on. A bosh! Hitting a card. Wow, impressive. Six, seven, eight, nine. They can hit me for quite a bit of damage this turn. It's a little bit risky, but give a Bosch haste. Uh, oh, wait. I, I guess I forgot that this Lancer could block. They're just dead here, though, right? Lock that up. Wait. 
Why is this asking me? Oh, this is aerial boost! Oh my gosh, I thought that was pacifism. I am... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm very silly. We did have the win, just... Yes. Target my creature, not theirs. <laughs> Good thing Arena prompted me. I uh, thought I had another uh, pacifism in my hand. I knew I had boost in my hand, but for some reason that turn I thought it was... Yeah, anyway. Alright, keep it going. Five and one. Having a good time. Game seven we go. Is that a turn two Marshall, turn three preening champion on the play? Yes, it is. We might even just start smacking down, because we do have a turn four potential squadron if we wanted, but... Hello. All right, we probably need no more lands for the rest of the game. Oh, mirror match. Blue white knights versus blue white knights. Sure. It's a good draw. So any two drop creature off the top's insane. Another preening champ's insane. It's fine. I don't mind taking three here. Lancer, not quite insane, but still good. Like, we get to attack for three in the air. And play out a 4-5 flyer. Alright, lock down, smack for five. Ooh, that's a lot of land. Alright. I will attack with the marshal. I assume I'm getting blown out here. So the token? Wait, what? With the token? Am I dead? Can they pump up the Billy Rider enough to kill me? That's not that bad. Alright, so I'm gonna take five, go to seven. Oh, man. Um... I guess I go double preening champ just to play it safe. Oh, I should have played the Marshall pre-combat. Whoops, I missed an extra point of damage on them. Uh, that is quite the board though. <laughs> They would have been dead if I had hit them for one extra point of damage. I have 12 in the air and they're at 13. Awkward. Oh, okay, they had another removal spell anyway, so... Don't feel as bad. Does that hit them for lethal? No, that hits them for 10. So, we're just gonna hold back the... Tokens then, hit him for 8 in the air, hold up double tap down. I 
All right, they need a sunfall. Sunfall or they fall? What will it be? I'm going to tap down to double striker too. Okay. Knights versus Knights. I'm not sure how that game changes if they decide to bounce my Marshal of Zalfir there instead of bouncing the token. Because it might have made it really awkward for me to try to replay it on a given turn, but maybe not. I don't know. All I know is we drew two Marshals, a preening champ, something, blah, blah, blah. So. Six and one. Easy. Let's see if we can go the nice 0-1 into 7-1 reverse sweep. Solid hand, turn 2 Marshall, turn 3 Invasion with a removal spell. Let's hope we can find some preens. Nope. Land number 5. No more necessary. Ooh, that's bad. Gosh, I almost want to grasp that because that's not a mana ability. Untapping a land is not a mana ability. So this, the uh, grasp does turn it off. I'm okay with that. You know what? I think the one game we cast Sunfall we lost, wasn't it? That's pretty good. All right, let's attack it for two, see what they do. They left with five mana open. Six mana, nothing. I'm not going to use Astral Wingspan here. Let's just try to flip. Okay. Their hand must be really bad. Or oh, they have a lot of top end cards. I am a-okay with that thing. Are they gonna punch the other one? Wow, sure. I am very pleased with that play. Hmm. Tricks but no top end. Play like a Timberland Ancient or whatever it's called. Not even that, huh? Okay. Yeah, their hand... I mean, they could have like an invasion of Fiora for a Wrath, but... It wouldn't even be that good right now. Okay, that makes sense. Unseal... Getting back Converter Beast and the... Host, sure. So they're going to go like Converter Beast Pass. I am going to then go for the Wingspan on... A oh, they're going to go for the Order. Or the Doombringer. Put two counters on the one that has one? Oh, it puts three counters even. Sure. Let's go for it. Of course, they might as well attack me here for three, since all my creatures are flying. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go six at face, three at the anthem. I don't even think we're going to bother flipping that Invasion of Vryn anymore, but 
after drawing all of these preening champions, I definitely want to flip both invasions. Like, look at this. Three mana, four, four flyer with a three, three token. Is this fair? They didn't even bother animating their five, five. Oh, maybe they, maybe they do have invasion of Fiora then. But my hand is still really good versus in... <laughs> yeah. This is so gross, though. Like, yeah, now I'm going to Sunfall them back and they're going to concede that way. Like, Sunfall into Preening Champion, GG. You thought you were good. But little did you know... Little did you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now we can flip the invasion. It's only a little bit of damage. Worth it in the long run. Crazy. Crazy! Crazy! Our deck is so crazy! How did we even get one loss? What was our first? Yeah, oh, the opponent sunfalled us after we sunfalled. What a stupid deck. Three Marshals of Zalfir, three Preening Champions, Sunfall, a bunch of other knights in removal. Like, the number one knight deck I've ever drafted in this format. Ah, that, that deck was nuts. That's how you clean sweep, my friends. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back tomorrow. Uh, bye bye.